welcome back to you live. Joining us here, the lovely Lily Richards. Hello, Connor. How are you? I'm well, thank you. It's um, It's been some time since we've sat on this couch together. I know, I haven't basked in the glow of your optimism in quite a while. I know, I, and it's, um, <sighs> I've, missed, I've missed this. Yeah. I've missed this, it's nice. You should just sit like this for a while. Just enjoy just it. Absorb it, the moment, sitting yeah. in it. And um, uh, we're talking books. Segway, books. Se segway. Talking great. books. It reminds me of a, a greater time in my life when I actually got nothing. You know, I actually have nothing. <laughs> I don't know what I was That's trying to That's all right. Yeah. I'll, I'll just, we'll just jump on in there. Thank you. Um, jump into the lifeboat, people. Yeah, let's all jump in. Mm -hmm. I'll jump in there mm -hmm. to the lifeboat. Right, the, the boat of life. You can see that little speck of a lifeboat there. So this woman, Charlotte Rogan, is she's like 57 I think good age good age yeah. and she has never written anything before she's never had anything published before she's 57 more into engineering housewife she has triplets Wow. yeah which is big into engineering big into engineering husband's a lawyer just kind of puddled along really although entertained the idea of wanting to be a writer for a number of years yeah. and apparently secretly wrote books didn't tell any of her friends that she had it um, was aspiring to be a writer. Secretly wrote books. Secretly, yeah. She'd like cancel lunch dates and stuff and not tell people why. Not to work and, like, on her to book. sneak off and write her book. Yeah. Is she um are there a lot of those kind of people out there? Undercover, well you wouldn't really know. Authors? What's That's with the people point? using pen names all the time? What are people afraid of? It depends what the book is, I guess. You think that it reveals too much about themselves or something? Yeah. Oh, the only pen names people I know are people that want to write in different genres oh, yeah. without being typecast as it's, presumed yeah. to write in a way they you know, they would have in a previous genre. Okay, but she's a secret author. She's a secret author, although this is definitely her. So she um, has a background in sailing and she decided to write this story. She's been writing it for years. On a whim, she sent it to Little Brown and it got picked up by an editor. It's one of those kind of dream stories and it has knocked everyone's socks off, basically. Um, oh, yeah, off. bam, done, mine were off. Yeah. Um, and it's a really, really good story in yeah. terms of the sense that it's really easy read. I almost say that as though like it's a bad thing, but it's easy to read and it's really enjoyable. Yeah. But it's great. Like I read it in a couple of days, didn't take long, completely absorbed page turner. The plot is that um, this woman, Grace, who's recently married, and it's it's fiction, but it's set like roughly two years after the Titanic sunk. Yeah. So it's like the early nineteenth oh, century. Yeah. Um, and what happens is they're on an ocean liner and it sinks pr predictably. I've, you know, at the moment, I'm just I'm thinking of a thinking of a, a thing that happened in the world. I'm thinking of a Titanic theme. Yeah. It's kind of like that. Well, yeah, it's like Titanic. So, it's, but the thing is that it wasn't at night, and <laughs> so um, the big differences are it wasn't at big night. Difference, it wasn't at night. Smaller boat. Maybe smaller boat. Concomitant size of boat, but um, sort of similar problem with that everyone couldn't fit on the lifeboats. Yada yada yada. You thought they'd have sorted this, but yeah. they didn't. Um, so the wealthy and the rich and the white and the whatever get on these boats, and they're stuck at sea for 21 days. All right. Um, and the book is primarily set that's her diary that she writes because she's you know that she's being prosecuted after the fact. She's on trial for murder. And the story is, in retrospect, it's her diary of, of the time spent on the boat, 21 days. And what I love about it is it's like, bam, it's straight in there. You're not, you're not pissing around. Yeah, I like that. Dealing with, oh, and it was a sunny day, and rah, rah, rah. You're just straight into the lifeboat, and you're straight into the situation, which is tense, and it's kind of this myopic um, version of society. So you've got all these different people that represent all these different roles. Uh, it's sort of like a philosophy 101 ethics you know, book, be good, mm. for, good to read if you're interested in that, because <laughs> um, it deals with all of those problems. But really interesting page turner. The Lifeboat. I like it. The uh, Lifeboat. Uh, I'll just give you my quick stock review and book review. It's got a good bend to it, and it has a, a very, a very uh, a readable font uh, size there, good size, and great stock. It's been printed on there. Gets my approval. Approved uh, stock and gets your approval of the story. <laughs> yeah. So this so is a well-approved book. There yeah. you go. Just, just a small $37 for, a, for an investment that will only give, you know? Totally. 21 days 21 days at stuck sea. On boat. Stuck with the same people, with obviously very limited amounts of food. Yeah. You'd go so you normally crazy. Normally you, you run out of supplies sort of a few days into it, generally speaking. And all of the people, they were over, the, the lifeboats only comfortably seated 40 but there was like um, more than that on there so who was... would you least like to be stuck with on a lifeboat for 21 days 
That's such an expensive question. I could fill a lifeboat with people that I want to be stuck on the one. <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you I'm give you time to think during this next video of who you might least like to be stuck with on a lifeboat. I'd, I'd love to hear your opinion as well. Sounds good to me. Um, I'm going to jump in there and say... Um, <clears throat> No, actually, I have to think about it. But it's very exciting because we've got um, the brand new music video from uh, a band that I thought you might like. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. You I, know I like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Beach House. The, it's from the album Bloom. Uh, the, the track is called. Liz How do you say this? I've been oh, tossing God, it up in my, in, my, in my mind. Lazuli? Yeah, I thought it was that. Yeah. Lazuli. Well, well read. On there. Words, reading. Quite good at reading. Yeah. yeah. I like that. Lazuli. Uh, exciting. And it's a great new uh, music video from uh, Beach House.